Hey folks, this is Max, and welcome to another workflows video. Now, one thing you might have noticed uh, a little bit different is that there is no video bubble, but um, I think that's cool for this um, one video. Uh, so, what I'm going to show you today is uh, we're going to create a flow based on a template, and I'm going to go over it, kind of set it up, and, and show you how it works. So, the template we're going to use is right here. So, send a welcome email to a new user of an application. So let's say you have a new employee, they, they, they join, um, and then you assign an application to them, such as Slack, for example. And so you might want to send a, an email notification, say, hey, you now have access to Slack, uh, or of course it can be any other application. So this is this template um, does that, okay? Um, so let's click on the template. And so there is a description here and we'll go and click Add Template. So it tells you uh, what it's going to add. So when you add a template, it always um, puts it in a folder. Uh, and then this folder, the folder uh, that we'll create, it has one flow, all right? So let's add template. All right. And so the folder is here, and then the, this is the flow, all right? So let's open the flow. All right, and so this is how it looks. Um, so the first one, um, how is this um, flow invoked is it's a user assigned to an application. So when you do that in your Okta organization, when you can assign an application to a user, uh, the event is fired and then in turn this flow is fired, All right? So there's some notes here, just kind of a comments just to help you understand what the flow does. Uh, then we get some information uh, from uh, uh, for the user uh, to to whom the application was assigned. We get their first name and primary email, and then we put together uh, an email. So this one is sort of hard coded um, for workflows, but of course you know it can be any other application, and you can also um, create the email or the text more more in runtime way dynamically so just so it's not hard coded to a specific application but one thing that's really cool and actually i didn't know that is that you can put html here um, as you can see uh, and then then this one is then the output this text is then passed to uh, send email which is a, a gmail uh, connector right so let me just um, show you quickly some uh, mappings again so this is the Okta user, right? And then we also uh, use this to send the email, all right? Um, as always, again, you can switch to flowchart. I like um, I like this view again, just kind of shows you a high level overview. Um, but let's go back. So one thing I am going to, well, first, um, when, oh, sorry, I went too far. So we actually need to connect, well, set connections, right? So this is a template. So it's not connected to any specific, um, you know, uh, to, it's not connected to any specific services. Um, and so we need to um, add a connection here. So choose a connection. Now I, I already have an Okta uh, organization, a connection to Okta. So I'm gonna use that, all right? And then there are some options that I need to set. And so let's do, um, so you can do all applications, but what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do a specific application here in this case. So I'm going to do actually Salesforce, right? So again, this is for Salesforce. And then uh, this is the application instance, and I'm going to save. All right. And the other connection is Gmail here. And I have already a uh, Gmail uh, in a connection, so I'm going to use that. Uh, one thing you want to keep in mind, I think the way this this uh, card works is that it has to be um, uh, a Gmail or a Google workspace uh, organization. So I don't believe it works with the regular kind of a personal email. So it has to be an organization. So just something to keep in mind. All right, cool. So we got the two connections. Now one thing I'm going to change uh, just to show you. So there's the title here. Um, the subject here is hard coded, right? And again, that's fine. It's a template. What we can do easily is 
go back or scroll down here a little bit and see application and then we have display name so this is actually going to say salesforce.com and then we can take it and slowly take it to the side here and do this all right so again you know, for your particular case you would you know you would customize here you would customize the email uh, and again this is just a tab link um, cool um, I think we're ready to test uh, let's save all right and let's go back so again once user is assigned and again I'm using Salesforce so very specific here um, but you can do all applications um, we read some information from that user or so, so yeah we get information from the user then we create uh, put together the email text you can see the first name is here and then we send the email all right um, all right let's turn this flow on and let's go to flow history now it's empty of course now I'm going to go to my organization and I've got four users here and I'm actually going to click on myself and I'm going to go assign application and then assign and and done and I'm going to go back here And let's see if it fires. Oh, here we go. It actually fired. Let me click on that. So we can see the event was fired. And we can see that that's my uh, first name here, my email. And then this is the text. And then uh, this is the email that was that was sent. And we can see it says Salesforce, right? So this is the one, this is the mapping that we set up. Um, so I think that's it. Um, that's kind of what I wanted to show you. Um, so again, there are a lot of different templates. This is just, of course, one of the templates. It just gives you uh, a starting point and you can configure, um, you can modify, just make changes, break it, fix it, uh, really up to you. But this is a just a neat workflow that again, you can send an email. I mean, you can send a text message as well, for example, using Twilio, you can send a message to, to Slack. So there are many options uh, here. But uh, again, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time.